here's some things I got from Japan. Start with this. This is the dual Ninja Twitching Glider 180SS. Glide bait. Looks like it comes with an extra tail. There's the name on there. Clicks. Just one joint. Seven inches. I got an OSP blade jig. Looks like a chatterbait, but it's got a clear. Whatever that thing's called. Comes with some trailers. Clear blade. It's got a kind of long skirt. Let's see, here we've got you use swimmer. It's a swim jig with a spinner on it. It's made by Mega Bass. Looks pretty pretty realistic. Has a weight there at the bottom. Well, we got quarter ounce blade, says Mega Bass. Hook keeper looks like it's just some thick line wrapped there in wire. Let's see, this is the Bait Ball Spinner TR, made by Ripple Ash. This is a three quarter ounce, looks like basically a spinner bait, but it's got six willow leaves on it. Kind of bluegill color. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> Let's see, here we got by Jackal the Ike Chew. It's a topwater plastic. look pretty interesting like you can probably catch anything on these not sure what's inside but I guess it helps it float it's not that big I mean about the size of my thumb um, the picture here kind of shows it looks like maybe with a wacky type setup you can hook it up 
a lot of these things I looked online for information videos and everything's in Japanese so let's see here we got <clears throat> by Jackal again Hig Prima Jointed Wake Bait This goes, I don't know if there's a depth on it, or if it's just at the surface. Skeleton pattern. It's got a lip, these trebles only have two hooks, I'm not sure what that's called or why. It's got this, this blade in the back. It's got rattles. Let's see, here's another swim jig. Karu by Infinite Speed Makers. Half ounce. I didn't know it at the time, but this is kind of interesting. Um, let's see, it's got this, keep your plastic a screw on, but this hook is on a swivel. You can see right there. I wasn't sure why, but uh, after watching some Japanese videos, it looks like It'll help with your hookup ratio. Bass grabs it. If you're pulling up, it'll keep the hook in the mouth and, and pull it up in the roof of the mouth instead of just keeping it all together. Um, interesting idea. We'll see how it works. So here's something else made by Jackal, the Rhythm Head. Easy settings swim bait head. The Type SS. So it's actually got trebles on it. Here it is. I forget. I think you. There's a video on this somewhere on how to rig it. Basically, you paddle tail, cut off the head. This, I believe, goes on the top. And then you'll set one of these hooks into the body of the plastic here. Um. So it should help hooking up. We'll try it. Let's see. I got a few cranks um, made by OSP, Osprey Spiritual Performer. So these are the deep runners, the blitz. I'm not gonna pull these out, these are kind of regular. These run, where is it? I know that the depth is on here somewhere. In metric, that's four meters, so about 12, 12 feet, these divers. And then I got a few others, the Tiny Blitz and the Blitz MR, all made by OSP. Um, 
just trying to decipher all this. So it looks like these dive one meter, so about three, three feet. These are square bills, traditional looking square bill. This is cool. Blue bill looking pattern. And this one's just a little, a little more bright, vibrant. This one, the MR, I'm guessing dives a little deeper. It has a bigger lip. 1.8 meters, so five, six feet. Um, this one looks like it's kind of see-through body, but one of these is silent. I think it's the deep ones. No, it's the MR. What else? Let's see. I got a Tackle Frog. I don't know that these are Japan exclusive. But I saw one, so I grabbed it. Orange belly. It's unique. So here's something a little different. This is a Yamato. It's also made by OSP. Um, it kind of looks like a spook walking type bait here. But it has two different uh, tie-ons in the front. One you can tie to walk it and the other one kind of does a, a diving action. Yeah, let's see. You can see the two different places tie on. These instructions here. So one is walking if you tie it on the bottom. But if you tie it on the top, it'll do kind of a, a little dive, a swimming action. Here, I'll show you. Looks like pretty sharp. <laughs> what other unique things do we have? Here's an OSP diving frog. It's hollow body soft, but it's got a, a weird lip. So I have no idea how this works, but weighted looks like it could be something different it's just got um, the skirt there coming out just the bottom there's actually a ring here at the back I'm not sure if you maybe put on a treble if you're gonna go more into open water uh, instead of going into the thick stuff. It's pretty soft. So we got another frog, the strike frog. This one's kind of interesting because it hooks on the bottom. It does have a weed guard. But it's just got one hook coming out on the bottom there. Its legs are kind of dangly, soft. There's your weed guard and the, the one hook. It's kind of f foamy. I mean, it feels like it's some kind of foam, almost like a stress ball. All right, last one, which I really don't know anything about. Jack in the box. Um, for all game fish everywhere. 
Oh, and it's got a computer design. It says Snakehead Probe. Uses Gamakatsu hooks. Really doesn't have a lot of information. What I don't understand, so interesting graphic, <laughs> a very thin profile. It's got this giant hole, like there should be a weight. And then the package, there is just a big rectangular lead weight. I'm not sure I'm supposed to stick this in there or what. Anybody knows? Let me know. Um, but we'll see. And there's no skirt on it. A little different. So besides tackle, I also got one of these Scorpion DC 101 HG. I'm left-handed. 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. Um, and it's got the, what is it called? And it's a BC, so it's digitally, digital control. And it's got the IDC 5, so basically you have five different settings right here. Um, but I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited. Feels good. Heard good things. So that's what I got in Japan. Hopefully it'll help me catch some big fish.